What is up guys and welcome back to another DC movie reaction. Dakota and I are back for the fourth installment of this franchise, I guess. Yeah, the DC franchise. And we are here with Superman 3. Well, we just kind of took a break from Superman last week with Swamp Thing. We both had different feelings about that movie. Yeah. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Um, but we're here with Superman 3. We're diving back in. I have seen this movie before. I mean, I've only seen this one one time ever. So this is my second watch. And sometimes on a second watch, I tend to either like something more or less. So I am very excited to see how I, I feel after watching this. From my previous watch, I thought it was fine. I thought it was enjoyable. Dakota, going into Superman 3 after watching Superman 1 and 2, it, any expectations for this one? Well, of course, either two possible paths could go because the first one I think I really liked, right? And then the second one, they added a lot of stuff, like, especially like at the end of Superman 2, like the kiss reverting <laughs> everything, you know? I, I'm either expecting it's going to get worse and just keep getting worse with the sequels or they figure it out eventually and are like, you know, we should probably actually like think a little bit more about it. And then as time goes on that they get better, possibly. But I don't know. That's what we're going to have to find out, I guess. Uh, we're going to jump into this movie. Do us a favor if you haven't already and subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the bell so you get notified every time I'm dropping a new video on the channel. I am doing every single live action DC movie, Dakota and I both are, so if you want to continue on the journey with us, those are the things to do. Also, if you want to show us some support, head over to the Patreon page linked in the description below. Over there you can watch the entire reaction from the beginning of the movie to the end, where you sync up your own copy of the movie with us. Go check it out, you never know what you're missing. Now without further ado, we are going to get in to Superman 3. Let's go. Name? Ah, uh, there Good he is. Norm. Richard Pryor. The only other employment you found was in a fast food joint, which lasted 28 minutes. <laughs> what? Well, that's some kind of record. Talk about fast. Yeah, I wonder how this ties into Superman. Because <laughs> this is just like, we're watching a guy's like life being a complete mess. <laughs> just as like, it's a little side story here. Next. You mean that's it? Finish like over. That sucks, but like you did only last like 20 minutes at a fast food restaurant before getting fired. That's ridiculous. Oh. Okay. Changing up how we're doing the title sequence. I like it. Yep. Actually like continuing the movie while the title sequence is going on. Wow, that was quick. Superman 3. Superman's gonna have to show up and save him. Stop the penguin. Oh, nice. Super Breath. Has he used that yet? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either, but I don't remember him using it. He at least Maybe did, he did, though. He at least did the freeze one, but I don't know if he did the regular. Well, I think he has at one point. Yeah, probably. I, I don't remember, but. Oh, bank robber. Bruh. <laughs> Are we Was sure that this necessary? Is, are we sure this isn't Gotham City or something? Why does everything seem so like cars are crashing everywhere now? Oh my god! What? No way! Bro, just roll the window down. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> that's good. Say thank you. Do you see the interesting effect they have on like the upper part of the shots where it was kind of like overly shiny yeah they were doing that with the uh, credits for the bottom of the credits which i was like okay that's fine but yeah they're... right yeah they're doing it right now but but when a you second flew, ago they were doing yeah. it in the top Superman! yeah it was that interesting was there he goes <laughs> oh, nice. that was, wow that was great Clark, what are you doing? What are you? You didn't even apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Like nothing. Oh, wait, my. wait, hold on. He's back as Clark. Everything is going wrong in the city. Shouldn't he like? There was robbers getting away. Oh yeah. What? what? I don't know anymore. That was all just craziness. <laughs> Good lord. How did you do that? I don't know. I just, just did it. Oh, he's smart. So he's like somehow a computer genius, but couldn't work 
more than 30 minutes at a fast food restaurant. Uh, I also don't know my time period history stuff, but maybe uh, maybe there's some other reasons why he got fired besides just poor working. True, maybe. <laughs> All right, Ken. Call your people and tell them the prodigal son and his photographer are coming home. Gee, thanks, Mr. White. Uh, Lois, you, are you going someplace? Well, Clark, you know, some people get to go all the way to Smallville, and then there are others of us who have to go to Bermuda. (laughs) Bye. I feel like the character of Lois Lane wouldn't be one to take vacations. I mean, maybe, but I feel like she's so invested in her work, she'd never... I feel like she'd have to be forced to take a vacation. I'm surprised she's going. Is it a vacation? Or is it not another work thing? I thought she said... Oh, uh, maybe maybe she meant like it's a fun story, so therefore it's like a vacation. Maybe I missed that. Kind of like in the second movie, how she went to Paris and then she also went to wherever with Clark in like that big fancy hotel. It could be similar to that. That that's not how that works, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> It would look much, much different than just typing in a sentence and then you get access to all the money that's hidden in the whatever. I want you to keep these people distracted so they don't know what I'm doing. What are you doing? What am I doing? That guy is staring right at them. It's so suspicious. Like, how are you going to potentially, how are you even possibly going to get up there if this guy is watching you guys be weird behind the cop car? (laughs) That guy guy did nothing. (laughs) All right, well. He's like, oh, all right. Well, I'm not chasing after him. My God, that trap! No need. What's he gonna do? Fly him down one at a time? No, all at once. No, he could also just put out the fire. That's Maybe. True. I don't know if, if he can do that yet. If his super breath is strong enough to get the whole building. Oh no, bridge. Oh, okay, that works. Or a slide, rather, yeah. Oh, Jimmy, if you get caught, which most likely you will, you're going to get in serious trouble. Or he's going to be like put in peril or something and Superman will have to save him. Most likely. Who the hell is that? Ooh, Jimmy, busted. I'm just going to get a couple more shots. <laughs> I like they'll let you do that. And like Lois, you have become part of the problem, Jimmy. Cool shot of him walking through fire. Well. I like, oh, I wish we didn't cut away from him. That would have been so cool. Oh! Oh, cool, cool. And there we go, we have another. Oh. Bam, there we go. That's... What? Um... Uh, All right. Also, a pers- I mean, it clearly worked, but I would think that water and chemicals wouldn't mix well together. Like, water and oil or whatever, you know? It's like a grease fire. Whatever. High school. Oh, this is where we're going to meet some old friends of Clark's from high school. really have grown, Clark. You look very well, Miss Patterson. Ah, nice white suit, Clark. Oh, Lana! Let's go! And that she plays Martha Kent in uh, Smallville. That's pretty cool. Mm. Oh, this is so cool. The first time I watched this movie, I hadn't watched Smallville yet, so this is kind of cool. Long time no see. You know, see, see, see. <laughs> Go on, Lana. Ah, because you're blind. Clark already asked me. Yeah, screw you, Brad. What a loser. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was kind of funny. He went for it. Yeah. Love that from you, Christopher Reeve. You've Let's got see it. What's it going to be? A million dollars? It's not going to be that. Ooh. Well, that's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's, well, I mean, I guess he's still got to work, but I was going to say, like, well, now you could just quit for real now and be fine. No, the problem is, why do I stay in Smallville? You just say, but how? And what about Ricky? Ricky? My little boy. <laughs> you? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> I mean, at least here we have a house and I've got a job. Okay, uh-huh. I'm only a secretary. Okay, but it pays the bills. Except for last winter when the fuel bills kept going up and up and up. <laughs> yeah, I even had to pawn my diamond ring, man. So she's single, technically. <laughs> hey, that's what I took away from that conversation. <laughs> you know, years later, you can look at someone and think, well, I guess that's the one that got away. Oh, that is a flirt right there. She a was flirt. definitely flirting with him. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I said that weirdly. She was definitely a, flirting with him there. A flirt hardcore. to a picture of him, yeah. Yeah. Well, old chum, what now? Um, kiss the 85 thou uh, goodbye? He'll keep a low profile, and he won't do a thing to call attention to himself. No, he's going to do that exact thing. He's going to call all the attention to himself, 100%. Yep. Oh wow. my god. Yeah, you gotta be subtle with it. Why? What? Dude went out and bought a car as soon as he could. Also, they're saying like it would be really difficult to track whoever did it. Looking at how the hacking works or whatever, the coding, all you gotta do is just say track who stole our money and then the computer will spit it out like, oh, here's, here you go. You're just gonna make it worse. Mm, sorry, Mark, can make it okay. worse. Yeah, he is gonna make it worse. It's okay to play with the bumpers. Sometimes it's more fun with the bumpers. What's he gonna do? Okay, I see it. He's gonna do something. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. That was like a snot missile. Somehow he got that directly on the ball to destroy those pins. No one's gonna question that either. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny. <laughs> Why would he want to see me? I mean, so they know. <laughs> wow, good job, dude. No For a guy that's supposed to be like smart. Now remember, he's computer smart, not not normal smart. <laughs> I was never book smart, <laughs> money smart. Oh man, that's stupid. That I made that reference. You've been a naughty guy, haven't you? I uh, come on, admit it now. Admit it. You've been just a little bit naughty, haven't you? I was a kind of... Oh, that's all right, pal. I understand. I can... Um, what do the young folks say? To oh, yeah. I'm definitely getting some Fifty Shades of Grey vibes. He's saying he's naughty and there's secret stuff in the fancy apartment here. One country won't play ball with me. I guess you know how that could bug a guy, right? Huh? That could bug... Uh, yeah. What country? Colombia. Colombia? Of course. Yeah. Gus, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, those vibes are strong. <laughs> you are going to do this for me. Or you will f fail. The weather. <laughs> okay. You didn't tell me your mother was going to be here. I'm his sister. Whoa, that was crazy to assume Dang. that, Gus. You're you should never do that. You should never wow. assume. Oh my gosh. Could I make it in Metropolis? I mean, what would I do when I got there? Come with, come live with call me. me. Oh! I wouldn't want to call you. You want to call me? <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, I want to call you, but I, I, I mean, I wouldn't want to be a nuisance to you. What? I don't think you could ever be a nuisance to me. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, if Lois is not in the, in the situation now, then yeah, it's going to be fine. My oil pan is leaking. Uh, what? I, too much information. Don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not even take it that way. That's so funny, though. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. We're in big trouble, aren't oh, we? Yeah. What? I said we're in big trouble. You know, first of all, they lost the invoice. Then when they did find it, they realized that they came up short on a few items. What a weird, why is he putting on a voice? And to be honest with you, Gus, you don't need to do anything to trick this guy. This guy is an absolute moron. I like how you can like, barely, you can also barely hear him when he's yelling. So when he's talking, that means he wouldn't be able to hear him. <laughs> Technically. What? What? <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Where did he get yeah, that no from? Vodka. Oh, we just to assume that was in this office? You never do pass out, do you? Nope. And we passed out. Both keys mm. at the same time? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so what are you gonna do now, huh? That, no. Uh, maybe take your shoes off and socks off and then you could use your toes. Could you move the consoles closer? It looks like they could, maybe you could scoot them closer. One, two, three. That's actually pretty smart. Nice. Oh. But that right. means he's in the room with them, so... Ooh. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't wake back up. Because I'm going to be honest, I think that guy could could take him down pretty easily. Yeah. I, dude, I need to say some of the stuff to like predict it because I was gonna be like, oh, uh, he's gonna shoot a laser down in New Columbia. Oh and no! Then that's actually, I think, what's gonna happen. This isn't the weather, then, right? Well, okay, we'll see. Bye. Maybe it's just the visual way of showing it going down. 
you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah okay. I would say it was a visual just to show us because he's creating a storm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's kind of a, uh, it's kind of wild. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Out of the, the three Superman movies we've seen so far, Lex Luthor in the first one did the least amount of destruction. I mean, he was gonna nuke California, but like, it didn't happen. In Superman 2, they took over the world. And in, in this one, they're already storming, destroying like buildings and stuff in Colombia. I mean, yeah, you can't reverse this damage, right? Too easily. It takes a while for this stuff. I mean, it could stuff. just reverse time. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh yeah, this is pretty crazy. Look at this. It's on his. It's no, on the roof. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I would not want this. I would be scared. I'd I'd accidentally not be able to stop, and I'd go flying off. I've been thinking that I'm not making enough money for this gig. If there's anything I hate, it's greed. Greed. Yeah, all right. Mr. Roth, just a minute. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Okay, hold on, guys. You them. stole eighteen thousand dollars from this man. Oh, there you go. There's your fear. Yeah, that's exactly what I feared. It. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay. But yeah. No, okay, he would have shattered through that glass, but he should be dead. <laughs> yeah, he's the pink cape Superman. That was kind of crazy. I don't know what the point of that was. I thought Superman was gonna like catch him or something, cause like he should be dead. <laughs> he should be. Yeah, that was kind of point, just pointless, just completely. It was because we could have cut from them like have ending their conversation about the new plan or whatever, and then yeah. boom to this. So yeah, I don't know why we did then that. Then the laser probe simply locks onto a floating chunk of kryptonite. The computer analyzes the components, and the boys at the lab duplicate the stuff down here. Unknown. Unknown. Something from outer space. That we've never seen before is unknown. So he Tar. makes. It, so he makes it up. What? The hell? I'm smoking. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, I have a problem with Ricky. Why? What's wrong? What happened to Ricky? Well, it's the autograph he got him from Superman. He got really carried away after that and told the other kids that Superman's even coming to visit him for his birthday next Wednesday. Okay, it was oh. wrong, but when Wednesday comes and Superman doesn't show up, it's just gonna... You can tell Ricky that Superman will be there on Wednesday, all right? You tell Superman we think he's wonderful. All right. But Clark... Yeah? You're the best. You know, this is what we need. Lois didn't care about Clark and only cared about Superman. Lana cares about well, both. That's not, well, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, I guess she did only care about Superman, and she didn't care about Clark until she found out he was Superman. No, continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Lana cares about both. She likes Clark, True. and she also likes Superman for being chill and heading to a birthday party. Lana's the best. Indeed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Here comes the cavalry. What are they going to do? Now, we all know that last week, half of this great nation of ours almost bit the bullet if it wasn't for this man here okay all i can say is thank the lord the superman what is the play here bro what is going on this is so drawn out for whatever he's doing this is stupid because as soon as it starts to weaken him it's like token of our appreciation to show to you for saving us from a chemical plant disaster. Also, it's not hurting him at all, so. Thank you very much, General. It's very nice. So they were trying to see if it would weaken him there, I guess. And it didn't work. Guess that uh, unknown material they needed is very significant. Evil Superman. No! He lets people die off a bridge, and then he fixes up the therapies. It's not meant to be straight up. The whole point is that it's leaning. That stuff we ran up in the lab wasn't a complete failure after all. And now that Superman is out of the nice guy business, we can get to work on that oil. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a little different, because then if he's evil, then he's going to want to do evil things, like take over your business and rule the world. <laughs> so... Exactly. I mean... He's still competition, but he's worse. <laughs> All right. Runs the last leg of a marathon that began seven days ago. As this oh, torch he's not going to blow out the torch, is he? 
to yes. ask <laughs> for 970 miles. He's just, just waiting. Ah, <laughs> what a troll. Superman, <laughs> that is ridiculous, man. That's such a troll right there. All that time that he, he was running. Evil Superman's just doing, like, side quests. Like, he's not... What's he doing? There's not a computer like this in the whole world. I want a gamer computer. RGB lights. I want a PC. Yeah. First of all, if anyone attacks this machine or anything, the computer counterattacks. I mean, it finds their weaknesses and wipes them out. Oh, well, then you don't even need kryptonite anymore. Just build that and then it... Yeah. And you then know, ideally, Superman. it would just make anything to destroy Superman or anyone. Why do you want that, Gus? I, that I don't understand. What does that really do for you? Oh my god! You're gonna sink the boat. Like, why are you ripping holes in it? Maybe I guess. Oh, you're gonna release the oil. That's not a good idea. Well, if if he's evil Superman, I guess. Yeah. Because the whole point is they just need all the oil in one spot. So if they don't have oil that they're carrying, then it doesn't- the ship doesn't matter anymore. Right, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, though. You know, when Superman gets back to normal, this would be the time to reverse time. After all of this. Oh, yeah, what's gonna happen in this movie? What's the special thing that's <laughs> gonna happen to reverse him being a bad guy and everyone not liking him? Oh, that's yeah, he it's, is drinking. And his stubble's going He's got out. this. Yeah, he's got the stubble. And is he? And the suit, the red on the suit is dark. It's like all, it's like yeah. All maroon now. It. Jeez. He does kind of look a little scary, a little intimidating, which is kind of crazy to see from Christopher Reeves since in the last two movies and even most of this movie, he's just got the nicest, like, happy-go-lucky face. Okay. He really does look like two different people right here, though. Like, he looks like the nice guy, and there's the evil guy. Okay. All right, I want to see what happens here before I say anything. He's wrestling with his inner demons. This is an interesting way to show us. Yeah. <laughs> That, the look of that and the sound effect was a little goofy, but... You always wanted to fly, Kent. Now's your chance. What? Is that Why has he got an accent? It's so weird. As evil Superman. He's got a weird way he delivers his lines. I, I don't know if I like it or not. It's just kind of weird. Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. I actually, like, buried him. Yeah, that just stomped all, like, squashed him. Oh! Oh, kick to the neck. Dang, even with just normal human strength, that would have hurt. <laughs> yeah. Why? What was the point of taking his glasses off? I guess that part is like crushing the glasses. It's like, all right, I'm done with good me. This is going on for so long. I think we get the point by now, right? Like, that, what's happening is that. Yeah. Jeez! I like that. Nice. Snap his neck, twist it. Oh, I could see the cut there. That was... Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Yes, the color's back. He's what somehow gonna get all of it back into the ship. No need to reverse time. He's fixing his mistakes. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of... Yeah. That was the facial expression from that guy. But fair <laughs> enough. It's like, he caused the accident, and now he fixed it. And now he flies like, to the village in Smallville and takes care of that. How did you know about that? I know things. Tracking systems locked. What? Okay, sure. If they need How long did they take to install all of this? Oh, yeah, that's true, though. 
I mean, they must have been working on this for a while. Or they got the best people, like fast construction workers to just put all this together. Hey, what are you doing with my baby? Gus, old buddy, genius. Come up and join the fun. <laughs> that run is goofy. I'm coming, Ross. Instead of helping others, all the four of you want to do is help yourselves. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> That's only his last name. He likes to be called Superman. Oh, uh, see, I'm not with them, Superman. You could have fooled me, mister. <laughs> Yo, what do you mean, Gus? You're definitely with them. You've done everything they've asked. Ooh, kryptonite. Kryptonite beam? I guess. You're hurting him. Yeah. That was the plan. Don't go soft now, Gus. You're going to jail no matter what. Well, I'd be careful, Gus. This computer is shown He's gonna kill it is going to fight back. Stop it! You're killing him! Huh? Hey, put me down! That's exactly what I thought. I was like, the computer could just shoot Gus. Why it didn't just kill him, I don't know, but it could have. Yeah, I wonder... If it could create a kryptonite beam, it could definitely just, well, shoot him. <laughs> like... Oh, gosh! It's eating her! Oh, my gosh! Ooh. What? Interesting. Oh, my gosh! I am not cis no longer. What, is it now gonna possess her, kind of? Ultron. Oh, shoot. It's taking over a human body. I mean, she's been wanting to do that from, from the beginning of the movie, so this is probably not even the computer. It's probably her. Step. Yeah. Oh, his hand's reflective. Oh my god! The computer's gonna eat Superman next. This is crazy. It's a supercomputer. That's the main villain. Oh right! This is the, the chemical stuff from earlier, right? That can eat through anything? Yep. Ah, I kind of like how that came back into play. Yeah, I figured out. I figured that was what he brought back when it said like, oh, chemicals, well, yada yada. Oh, you better hurry before it takes your hands. Oh. Or I guess it'll just do something on its own. Oh, dang. Dang. That, that chemical, even though it only, like, affected that tiny area of the, of the machine, it brought down the whole place. Why there, just Gus? him? Please don't talk to me. I'm having enough trouble just hanging on. We're not putting him in prison. <laughs> We're on the ground, Gus. Say, does your boss have a computer in this operation? Yeah, he, he got a little bitty one about that big. Well, you tell him he could do a lot worse than to give Gus Gorman here a job. Well, thank you, sir. Take care. But... I'll see you around. He, he had a job before that he then decided to rob them. Yeah. That's how he ended up in this whole situation. So giving him another job I don't think is the solution, but... I guess you gave him, like, a better outlook? I don't know. Well, nah, this is not for me. I think I'll, <laughs> I'll take I'll... that bus. Can you tell me where the bus station is, please? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, you know, I, I, Superman gave me another chance. I'm not gonna work here, though. I'm gonna, let's... Why don't I take you to lunch? You can tell me all about it. Oh, I'd love to, Lois, but today I'm having lunch with Mr. White's new secretary. Hi, Lana. Hi, Clark. Oh, Lois, say hello what? to Lang, Smallville's newest gift to Metropolis. Oh, uh, why wasn't this the movie? This would have been way more fun. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah, he's got to fix this. All right, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's now not Le Oh, no, he remade them. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't destroy the other ones, right? He. Well, he did. Remember, he broke the one. He broke so one. So we can only but... assume. But did he really destroy the others? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess that's... Huh. Okay. <laughs> that's gonna be next... Superman's next supervillain there. Oh, I know! <laughs> the the pizza guy. Smile at the camera. Is this not the exact same shot from the other movie? Yep. That's how it I swear ends. it is. They just reused it. Yep, that's got it. Okay. That's how it ends. 
So that was Superman 3. Um, now, I had seen this movie before. Dakota, this was your first time seeing it. So I'm going to let you go ahead and go first. We just finished it. So what are your thoughts on Superman 3? Uh, it wasn't good. Yeah, I didn't like it. Uh, I don't know. I'm still trying to like gather like all the information, trying to think of all the stuff that happened. But also, it's just like, well, not- it felt like nothing happened. So I don't know. I feel that. Because, again, I think what you said at the end was Lana and Lois, like that dual kind of like that love triangle situation that's getting set up that would be good for a movie and i think i'd assume that's what probably what they're going to set up for the next movie but yeah it would have been better if that was more throughout this movie because lana's inclusion i guess was just to introduce her and to show that clark and lana has a little bit of a connection but then for like what felt like 60 percent, maybe 75 percent of the movie it's just like that lana wasn't there and that connection it's just like it wasn't a thing and they could have saved that for like the next movie or to just have that be the whole plot line throughout you know gus i felt like as a character he he really was the main villain throughout the personality of lex was split between gus who is like lex's smarts and then uh bubba whatever his name was bubba Ross, I believe. Ross, right. Okay, Ross. So split between Gus and Ross, who Ross, of course, was more of that materialistic, wanted to just rule the world kind of thing. So it was just Lex, just two different people. And also Superman turning evil. I was getting the impression, I was thinking, oh, this is like a Bizarro thing, right? Isn't that his name? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Again, they didn't like exactly say it, but just like, oh, if that was kind of what was happening, then okay. And when I saw them split, I was like, I don't know why they did that, but if that's like evil superman bizarro and then like oh we get superman back and it's like okay now we got the two different characters and that maybe that's how that happened but with it being like the evil side of him versus the good side of clark kent do we had that personality split in the previous movie so to have kind of something similar here but with it being a good guy and bad guy thing it just was like it kind of felt like we were doing the same stuff again yeah i just feel like the movie was it had a lot of ideas and i feel like the ideas didn't fit together nicely or i feel like the movie didn't do a good job at fitting them together superman having his evil turn and all that you know that's a cool idea or clark going back to smallville and rekindling a relationship with lana yeah. that's a cool idea that's good. Like, there's different ideas here but i just don't feel like they worked in the movie together like having him be evil should have been its own like i don't think we needed lana then because i felt like lana being here that was enough of of like a new thing for the movie right. of like oh he's back in smallville and all that that was enough and but then also tacking on him going evil for a while you know because then you forget about lana for a while you know the biggest complaint that a lot of people had with this movie from what i've seen is the the strong focus and the amount of screen time given to gus yeah um or richard Pryor, and you know i get it he's a big name comedian or especially at the time like he was huge at the time so i get it having him in the movie is huge but it is a superman movie at the end of the day and you know you look at superman one and that's a great example of how they could do something like that with a big named celebrity playing the villain and i feel that worked a lot better there but i felt like the stuff that gus and ross the stuff that they were doing it was either not entertaining enough or it wasn't intriguing enough to make me interested in them where with lex and and like his crew i felt like what they were doing was either very entertaining to watch or it was just more captivating. I feel like the computer stuff, there was something there at the beginning because the whole, they kind of established at the beginning, like computers are what's going to take over. And like, you know, if you know how to work a computer, then you're advanced or whatever. So it makes sense for a through line for the final one to be like a computer as like the main villain. But also I just, that wasn't also what was mainly established. It was more of like Ross and, you know, Gus. And then eventually it just became, oh, it's just a, a, big computer that we made is now actually the evil thing at the end so it just kind of felt like yeah that's not one thing i'll say that is good for this movie though that i just thought about now there was no crazy ending no like turning back time no you know kissing to forget like we had in the previous two movies it was kind of played straight it was yeah like, i mean he just fixed his mistakes and we, yeah. we ended it yeah yeah so that i guess that's 
like probably one bonus point for this movie but like it doesn't help it much (laughs) yeah i mean for sure yeah this definitely is it weird to say that i actually think the ending of this movie is probably the best ending of the three because like at least you know the first one had the time travel thing where it's like what second one the kiss which is like even worse and then at least this one it sets something up that was like oh well i actually kind of would want i kind of want to see that like i want to see yeah yeah the the work dynamic with alana now working at the daily planet right like that that is interesting to me i'd love to see that i think there's a lot of cool ideas even the computers you know even though i i didn't think it worked very much in this movie i think it's definitely not a bad idea i think it could have worked the journey there just it was a mess and yeah. like even gus Recom- like saying to the to ross like when he puts his foot down he's like i you know i want something for me and he's like i want the the super computer and then he ends up taking it out himself and it's like i don't know gus i know you're he's shown to not be it's weird i was gonna say not smart he's shown to be both stupid and smart at the same time but he didn't think things through ever like the ending where he takes out his own computer it's like he, he wanted the computer in the first place just to then, at the first sign of something happening where it's affecting Superman negatively, he's like, oh, I got to destroy it. It's like, it, what? Especially when one of his previous goals and what he was supposed to do was to kill Superman with kryptonite. So it's <laughs> Yeah, like, and he went through with it. Yeah, so now it's an issue at the end of the movie? Like, I don't... It's a mess. It, it literally, to me, screamed... This is a very famous comedian that we have in this movie. We can't have him be the bad guy at the end. We have to have him good with Superman. And it's like, yeah, that, but didn't, it doesn't work, though, because the movie set him up as a kind of bad guy. Like, yeah. it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. The bad guys are definitely the biggest thing in this movie that don't work for me. I like Thelana, though, you yeah. know, especially knowing for me, watching Smallville right now, seeing her as Martha Kent and then seeing her here as Lana. Very cool, and now I can't wait to watch the next episode of Smallville. So for me, overall, I'm going to have to give this movie... I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10, because 5 out of 10 is average. It's definitely not average. I think it's a little worse than average. I still had a little bit of fun, but I did find myself uh, bored a lot at times. So it's honestly close to a 3, but I'm going to give it a 4. Yeah, I think I'm actually in the same situation. I mean, I was thinking four first but then i was kind of like well i don't know with all this stuff and also my scale i think is kind of thrown off with how i have it so i would need to like <laughs> later on when we do stuff like uh i think we talked about live stream and stuff so if we do like a live stream then i could like readjust how my rankings are actually ordered because oh I yeah th- it'll be fun to do that yeah. and like look back at the section of yeah. movies we've done and see like where we rank them <laughs> yeah and like to fix my scaling because i think i'm already like throwing that out the window um but yeah i'm thinking (laughs) closer around to a four maybe a three but the only reason i give it a four is because i still enjoyed some of the individual stuff and i still i love you know christopher reeve is still great i think he did you know what that's a positive i think he did a great job at playing evil him versus good him because they were very distinguished this is i thought yeah and this was the the one movie where he well we don't know what happened i don't know what happens in four but this is like the one movie where he was able to get that evil on and um because superman's usually a good guy so yeah he got to do something completely different that he didn't get to do in the previous two movies so yeah yeah at least he got to spread like you know expand himself in this movie as an actor which was fun to see yeah at least i um i okay oh, sorry yeah yeah well to be definitive to be because i was kind of teetering on four and three i'll just say three and lock that in as my official That's rating fair. just three to, for superman three <laughs> yeah yeah unfortunately it is what it is you know the third movie in a franchise usually is either really bad or it's just okay I, there's not usually a third movie in a franchise that's like really great so it is what it is um and now we're oh the next movie supergirl oh god that's gonna be a rough <laughs> no. one anyways right. uh cool well that's us watching superman 3 if if you could do us a favor subscribe hit the like button and hit the bell so you get notified every time we are dropping a new dc movie reaction uh also go check out the patreon page linked in the description below you can watch the entire movie with us from the beginning to the end we already have we started with superman superman 2 swamp thing and now superman 3 they're all up on patreon so go check them out 
linked in the description below. Just make sure you have your own copy of the movie or movies you're going over there to watch with us before you head over and become a patron. Also, if you become a patron, you get shouted out at the end of every single video. So shouting out the patrons, we have Everton V, The Superman Batman, Tina, and 1204. Thank you guys for being patrons. And that's, that's all we got for you in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. That's a wrap. Woo! I am on break. I'm gonna live like a king by doing my thing. Hey, I am on break. I'm gonna live life free. I'm gonna do it like me. Yeah, yeah. I am on break. No, this is not fake. I'm just chilling on break.